All right, so welcome back to a new one on this channel and on this occasion we need to talk about macros. Within Studio One you can perform a very specific action with a shortcut or maybe you can set a macro to execute an array or set of instructions with a single command. You have predefined macros but you can also create your own. If you go right there at the top you can have this icon that says macros. If you click it you're gonna get this. It will open a bar with the, some buttons and some actions and these are factory macros. You know they uh, you get them by default when you get studio one. But you know you can delete them, you can edit them, you can do whatever you want. If you go to the left you're gonna find the main, the main uh, drop down uh, for the macros. If you click it notice it says global and podcast and so on. So these ones are categories. Within the macro section they called pages. So in this case we are standing on global so we, have, we can see a lot of macros that belong to a global category. But if I go to podcast we have a lot of macros that we can use for podcasting and you know so on music creation whatever it doesn't matter it depends on you know on how you create it but again when you go here you have some by default so maybe the macro that you want it's already here now inside of each page because this is a page you have different groups so this is a page and right here you have groups and buttons this is how this works now i'm gonna go here and just make it small so whatever you have right here is whatever task that, you, that you're going to be triggering. So if I go to zoom, maybe I can hover and it's going to say what it's going to do, that button, what macro it is. And it also has a shortcut, it says shift and S. So if I click it, it's going to do that. If I go to loop, it's going to do it and so on. Maybe toggle and maybe S and small, this is small, medium and large. So you have a lot of actions that you can really use. If you go to the left and you click on this one, it will give you a lot of options. You can create a new page, which is, you know, this is a page and inside you can create a new group and so on. You can even import and export your uh, macros. In this case, I want to create a new one. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to create a new page. And for this, notice that it's creating a page right here. So I want to rename it right here when you click it. You need to do a double click and then type the name of your macro. I'm going to type the name of the channel so I can just, you know, separate from the other ones. And once you do so, you have a page. Of course, it's completely empty. You need to add things. So, okay, so we need a group. I can click right here and uh, click a new group, or you can click on here and say new group. It's completely up to you. Once you add a group, it will add you know the group name right there and i need to click it and it will give you more options that we can do with that group if i want to change the name of the group i'm going to call it i don't know my uh, i don't know group or action something like that this is going to be the name of my group and within you know we need to add buttons so if i click a new button it will add a new button whenever whenever we click it it's going to fire whatever actions that we want to to trigger and the same thing goes right here. If I go to this section and I right click it, I'm gonna I'm gonna need to double click and assign a name to the button, maybe some action or something like that. Uh, let me do it correctly. Some action. There we go. So you know we have the button, we have the action, you know the the, uh, the group. So now what we need to do is maybe add something to the do something with this button now whenever you go here and you add a new button you also have other options like menu button if i do this one it's the same as a button but this is a drop down and inside this drop down you might have different options and for now we're just going to go here and add a name to this so we can uh, know what it is it's going to be menu btn then we're going to be adding more options right here but first i want to do something with the some action button so if i right click it you can have a sign then you can assign an icon if you wish if you want to add an image or you can move it to a different place but in this case what we want to do we want to assign and you can assign a command so we're going to do this in a minute but you can go to macros and just from the list of the million macros that you already get from factory, you can select one of these macros. For example, I'm going to say loop selection. So now this button, what it will do, notice I'm hovering it's and it says loop selection. And I click it and it will loop the selection and play it back. That's what it does, right? So that's the main point of this uh, macro. 
let me make it a little bit smaller now instead of just doing a uh, assign and go to the macros and assign it what i can do i could go to assign a command if i go there it's gonna give me a new screen like this and by default it's gonna you know it's gonna uh, tell you that you have selected in this case loop selection but you know if you uh, never assigned anything uh, this is not gonna be selected so right here what you can do you can search maybe for an action let's say create and then auto there we go create auto fades so when i do this and do okay now this button if i hover is going to create the auto fades so i'm gonna be putting it right here and if i click it we get the auto fades so this is a way you add an action to that button by using the macros you already have and you assign or maybe you assign a command i'm gonna go to this menu button i'll just show you how it works because it's just pretty much the same but i just want to get this out of the way since this is a menu uh, button this is a collection of buttons so if i click here i'm gonna go right here to edit menu and you when you click the edit menu you're gonna see this um, kind of a bar and right here when you click it maybe this is your first action and this will be an action if you want to create a new menu item and you have more options you can even add a separator you can add a new menu item item this one is going to be the second i don't know action and whatever something like that once you do so when you uh, open this drop down and you click on this or click on that you can of course trigger two different act uh, actions i'm going to right click it i'm going to add menu I click the first action and then we have the same assign macros which could be you know cut to cursor whatever and then this one could be some other action like i don't know restart recording or maybe opening the plugin manager it doesn't matter so if i go here now maybe i'm gonna be putting the cursor there if i click the first action it's gonna cut the course to, to, to the cursor if i do the second action it's gonna bring the plugin manager if you want to delete something, you can right click and you can remove the button. Still, again, right here, you can right click it and remove the menu item. I'm going to say yes, then remove the separator. Yes. And, you know, this is just pretty, pretty easy once you get it. At first, it's just a little bit confusing, but then, you know, it's simple. Uh, I'm going to remove the button. And there we go it's gone same you know right here with the with the group you can remove the group if you want to and i'm going to leave this action because i want to show you something else to create a macro we need to go to the macro organizer uh you have different places where you can enter if you go here you can see that you have an option that says macro organizer if you go to studio one right here and it says macro organizer and when you right click it you go to assign notice that when you have a new macro it's kind of a it will take take you to the macro organizer but in this case i'm just going to go here macro organizer sometimes the window is a little bit small so you're going to need to make it a little bit bigger so here you can find uh, by just to just tapping whatever it doesn't matter all the different macros that you have available on your uh, on your studio one but you know you can create shortcuts you can edit delete rem then you can create a new in this case what we want to do we want to create a new macro i'm gonna go to new and it will give you a second window and again this one it's just small like the other one so here you need to search for commands and how a macro works is that you can chain commands so maybe I want to start playback and at the same time, you know, after I start the playback, I want to solo the track and then, you know, go up in volume and so on and so on and so on. So all of these actions uh, are chains and you can create these chains. So let me just say that, you know, first I need to name the macro because I need to find it in some fashion. So I'm going to call it awesome macro. This is the name of the of my macro. You can, you know, of course, add a group and a description. So now we need to find a command that we want to trigger when we use that macro. Here, you just need to type the action. Uh, sometimes it takes a while and uh, to find whatever it is that you want to do. In this case, maybe I just want to solo the track. Yeah, once I, once I, you, you find whatever you want to uh, go and add to the macro, you just need to select and go to add. And it will add it to the list of whatever it is that you want to do. Now, since I want to chain actions, maybe I also want to, I don't know, stop the track. I'm going to go to stop. And I'm going to say stop track. And then I'm going to go and add it. Just like this, you find commands and you add them to the list. And when you trigger this macro, all of this is going to happen. The thing is that when you add or you chain different uh, commands, of all of them, they're, they're going to be uh, triggered in order. So if you have solo, it's going to be solo and then stop. Now, if you want to change the order, you need to go to the up and down. 
So if I go to maybe stop and go up, now first it will stop the track and then stop the transport and then go to the track and do a solo operation. We'll go and solo the track. And that's it pretty much. I'm doing something simple, but you know, the rest of the work is gonna be up to you and depends on what you want to do. If I go to OK, I'm gonna confirm this action. And if I uh, search for my macro right here, an awesome macro, I, I just get it. Now the point is that I want to make it a button. So I'm gonna be going to, you know what, I'm gonna create a new, a new button. I'm gonna go here and create a new button and this one it's going to be uh, awesome and then i need to go to assign and if you go to new macro it will give you pretty much the same screen so you can create it from here directly if you want to in this case if i go here and go to assign we can see that we have the awesome macro so if i just press it and i'm going to be playing it i just click it and it will stop the playback and it will solo the track and it's that simple. You create the macro, you assign it to a button, and then you trigger it whenever you want. Now, most of the macros, um, at least on the default macros, they have shortcuts. So you can, if you go to your macro organizer and you find your macro, let me find it first. I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna go to shortcut. So if you go there, it will give you a new screen where you can assign a shortcut to your macro so you don't have to go to the macro bar and trigger the button from there. Make sure that your macro is selected and I'm gonna go here and do I don't know alt or control something, control zero. Hopefully that one is not, well, okay, so it looks fine. So once you enter the key and you as uh, assign it, now control zero in my case is going to trigger that, trigger that macro. I'm gonna apply it and then say okay. And then I'm going to close this. Now if I go here, notice that it says an awesome macro and then control zero. And let's see if this works. So I'm going to go back to the beginning, do play, control, and then zero, and it's doing it. So stopping playback and doing the solo. You know, that's it. That's how you, how you use this. Now, if you go here and you right click it on the bar, notice that you have more options. You can align to the left, align to the right, or even you, you know, create a new group from here. And if you want to delete the actions, you just go here or delete, delete the buttons. You just delete them, delete and kaboom, it's gone. Delete the page, or the, the group in this case, kaboom, it's gone. And if I wanted to remove the page, I can go to remove page and the page is gone. So it's again, super simple. You create a page, you add your groups and buttons and you create a macro if you need, if you really need to. And my, my recommendation is for you to, to look the shortcut first of what you want to do, because maybe you just create a macro and you already have that command. So at the beginning it's just you know a little bit annoying creating all your macros and all that stuff but it's going to speed your workflow once you remember the macro and the shortcut and you use it every single time now one tiny little thing i didn't show you is that you can go to the cloud and you have something right here called cloud exchange right here which is the pre sonos uh, exchange and if you go to the macros you have some macros that you can import right you can import to your workflow whenever you go to settings you can import and export which is again super useful if you need to change computers and you need to export all your settings well they're all going to be there all right so hopefully you learned something new and if you like the video please like and subscribe